So guys, normally when we visit LG at CES, it's all about OLED. But this year, LG has revealed its first flagship RGB TV. The technology is being called LG Micro RGB Evo, but it's not micro LED, it's not OLED. It is a version of mini LED, but it's coming in a few different versions. And I'll tell you why I'm excited about it, but also a little skeptical. This is Tom's Guide to CES 2026. Let's get into the video. We're talking a lot about RGB TVs at this year's CES and the lead up to it. It's a new category and there's still a lot of question marks about it, but there is no doubt the big story about RGB TVs is color. And LG is making a very bold claim here. It's saying that micro RGB Evo is certified for up to 100% coverage of the BT2020 spectrum. Now, that's not really physically possible, but it is possible that LG has gotten closer than ever. A lot of that's going to come down to the tricolor diodes that's powering this backlight, as well as the number of dimming zones. LG says this TV here, which is technically called the MRGB95, has over 1,000 local dimming zones. So no, it's not going to be pixel level control like you get with OLED, but there are some other key benefits. Capabilities for much higher brightness with no concerns of burn-in, especially at these larger screen sizes. This model right here is coming in 100 inches as well as 86 and 75. But LG's RGB TVs aren't limited to those ultra large sizes. This model right here is the MRG B9M. We're looking at 86, it has 75, but also 65, one of the, you know, more living room friendly sizes of an RGB TV, which we actually haven't seen much of yet this so far. This one is all about the design. It is not going to have quite the level of control and color coverage as the micro RGB version. I know the name is really confusing guys, but with this, we at least get the true wireless zero connect box, which means look, cable free beauty. It looks awesome. There's one cable leading over here to this separate connect box, which can go inside a cabinet. It doesn't even need to have a direct line anymore these days for 4K 144 wireless video and audio transfer. So all of your inputs go there and you get to enjoy a beautiful design. We're actually struggling to capture this TV on camera for you guys because of how bright it is. We don't have that problem when we're talking about LG OLED. So brightness, color, that's why RGB is as big of a conversation as it is right now. I think it's really important that we're talking about micro RGB, mini RGB, all of the RGB TVs, because it's painting a picture of, is OLED gonna kind of top off and is this going to pick up what's possible in terms of TV innovation? OLED still has its size and brightness limitations, not so much the case here. That said, all of the things that sound really exciting and sexy about RGB TVs, are gonna come at a very high price. We don't know what that price looks like yet, but it's likely to be a lot higher than LG's top level OLED TVs for comparison. And you guys have heard me say it in recent videos, there is a lot of real world testing that still has to be done with RGB TVs, including LG's flagship micro RGB Evo technology. I find it fascinating that LG isn't hiding the fact that it's borrowing heavily from its OLED playbook here. It's using OLED style precision, their words, not mine, over the RGB backlight powered by the new A11 AI processor Gen 3 that is the same processor LG is using in its high-end OLEDs for 2026. This is still an LCD TV. LG says it uses over a thousand dimming zones. All of those dimming zones sound great on paper, but you're still dealing with zone-based dimming and you might be able to see some blooming in extreme contrast scenes. It's not that pixel level control like you get with OLED. As for who this TV is for, it's very much aimed at people who want massive screen sizes, reference level color, and OLED-like processing without all of the OLED limitations that I've already talked about. So this has been your first look at LG's micro RGB TV lineup for 2026. And this has been Tom's Guide to CES. Let me know based on the specs and what you've seen in this video. 
would you take this 100 inch RGB TV over an OLED? Be sure to sound off in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I will catch you next time.